Good morning lovely people and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a different kind of video and I'm doing a get to know me video. I'm coming up to my one year anniversary on YouTube. I started doing YouTube on the 20th or my first video that was released was on the 20th of November 2020 and it was like a quinoa salad uh, video recipe that I just like did for fun. The reason why I haven't won, done one until now was because I actually originally started my channel as a way of like helping out my friends uh, into like navigating into motherhood, just like sharing my tips and tricks of what I have learned uh, so far and I really enjoyed it and I just kept going with it. Now we're coming up to one year and I thought it's very appropriate for you guys to finally know me. So the reason why I did keep going with it was that I just made so many new friends. Obviously virtually everyone's been so lovely. So without further ado I will get into the questions. So I got them online. Just give me an idea of what to share with you guys. First question is what is your name? My name is Marina Awadella, so my channel name is mine. However, Awadella is actually my maiden name, not my married name. How old are you? I am 27 years old currently, but my birthday is actually in December, um, so I will be turning 28 then, so almost 28. What's your zodiac sign? My zodiac sign is Sagittarius. I told you I was born in December. I'm not like a huge believer in zodiac signs, but I do find it interesting to like read every now and then, but I couldn't tell you like the characteristics of, you know, this sign or that sign, but it's intriguing, but I don't believe in it. What is your height? I am 162 centimeters. Are you from and slash where do you live? So I am from Cairo, Egypt, so that is where I was born. Moved to New Zealand when I was nine years old. So we moved in January 2003 when I was nine. We moved straight to Christchurch and I had always lived in Christchurch all my life until I studied, which I moved for. And then now I've been living in another little city close by Christchurch for the past almost four years now. The next question, I almost answered it in the previous one, is what did you study? So I studied Bachelor of Pharmacy, so I, I am a pharmacist. Where did you study? So I studied at the University of Otago down in Dunedin. What do you do for a living? So I studied pharmacy, so I'm a pharmacist. I am a community pharmacist. That's what I've been doing ever since I graduated and I really enjoy it. I did try out hospital pharmacy, but um, so far I just I did not find it was for me I really love like the patient interaction and like helping people and I know in hospital pharmacy you definitely do help people but I loved the like everyday interaction one-on-one -on -one with the patients customers whatever you, you want to call them so yes community pharmacist what's your favorite thing about the place you live so the favorite thing about the place that I live, so as I told you, I live in a small city. So it is extremely family friendly, like really easy to go around, you know, like daycare, Michael's work and everything is literally like 10 minutes away, not even like five, 10 minutes away. The town is close, you know, we most of the shops are supermarkets close. Everything is really close. So with little kids, it's like really easy, you know, if one of them like cracks it you can literally just go home in a second and there's also like stuff to do and i love the people here like i think i would struggle if i didn't have a good community around me and like a good support system it's only two hours away from christchurch where my parents live and my family live so we go there frequently so i still feel in touch with my family next question is what is your coffee order? Now, so that question was actually, what is your Starbucks order? But I changed it. We do have Starbucks here, but it's not that common. Like in New Zealand, you, I think there's only like, I know there's one at Richter Mall, but it's not like the most common coffee shop here or cafe. So my coffee order, I go between two. So I like either just straight up mocha. I don't change anything, just with full cream. It's delicious. That's when I feel like a coffee and like a dessert at the same time and my second one go to it's just like when I enjoy like a good cup of coffee and that is a flat white lately I've been loving like flat white with coconut milk but I would get it with so I would say coconut or almond milk with one sugar favorite food that is really hard one because I don't have a favorite food 
but if I told you, okay, I'm gonna pick like favorite savory, um, favorite dessert. So favorite food that's savory, I love a good like burger and chips, just fills my heart. Um, and dessert, I love all kinds of cake to be honest. Are you a good cook? I would say yes, I am. I actually love cooking. It is, I don't know if you if you would call like cooking a chore, but it is my favorite type of chore at home. I would pick it over anything else. I would do it all day, every day. I love feeding my family. I love to try out new recipes. I love hosting people over. That's like my kind of jam. So yes, I do believe I am a good cook and yeah, my husband loves my food so I'm gonna take it as he is. What's your favorite color? Growing up, I always said like cherry red because in my coloring pencil set that I had, there was like this color, it's like, oh, it's like a cherry raspberry red that I just really loved using so much. So I've always said that, but I think growing up, it is like blush pink, like kind of this color is like my absolute favorite. You probably would notice it's like the sort of color I wear like all the time. Um, I just feel like it's like really elegant and girly and feminine. Yeah, what's your favorite place in the world? Favorite place in the world? To be honest, my favorite place any moment in time is where my friends and family are. I'm a very like huge social love friends and family like around me all the time. So even if I went to like the most magnificent, magnificent place if I was by myself, I think I wouldn't like enjoy it as much if I was like with family. But if I had to pick a place, I would say Egypt might sound like I'm biased but honestly it is the most beautiful country ever it has everything you want there are be amazing beaches um, there is like the historic side of it you can take like a cruise down the Nile which I've done all of that and still some of my family members live there and yeah that's where I grew up for nine years so favorite Disney princess I would say Mulan I was obsessed with Mulan like since I was a child, I literally had the Mulan like video tape um, and it was like translated into Arabic, like there was like a voice over in Arabic and I just loved it. I've always loved before now when it was all like, you know, the whole like feminist girl power thing. I liked the whole concept of that, you know, that she just didn't care what people thought, she just did what she thought was right. Obviously, she initially disappointed her family, but then she rose above it and she was there. But yeah, basically, I love the whole shatter that glass ceiling concept. What is your favorite day of the week? My favorite day of the week, I would say, is Thursday because it's like so close to the weekend, so close to, you know, like you've had, I enjoy the week, to be honest, like I'm not the type that's like, oh, like, I hate Monday, I hate anything, no, not like that, but you know, you've worked so hard all week, like Thursday, you're still working, but you can just like smell like the fun of the weekend coming and spending time with your family and your friends, and yeah, just relaxing so I feel like it's a pretty Thursday Friday is like pretty relaxed days for me even if I work hard like mentally I feel relaxed what are your hobbies my hobbies well, as I say I loved cooking I love cooking so that is one of my hobbies my other hobbies that I like I love hiking and walking kind of interrelated why I love hiking it's just a really nice form of like exercise and when you're with people it's like a nice way to like bond you're not like out of breath you can like talk you know and even if it's like a stroll you bond over that i actually have my and i have like a goal when the kids are a little bit older and we have a little bit more freedom i don't know when that is but we and we kind of started it before kids we have like a list 
of all the hikes in New Zealand and we just want to tick all of them off that's our goal and walking like for now it is like my downtime it is like my me time I love listening to a podcast like learning or entertaining doesn't have nothing not everything has to be learning or productivity or like talking to friends and family favorite TV show that one is a hard one I don't have like an all-time favorite TV show but I tell you the ones that I have lately enjoyed in the past honestly like year so okay so probably all time is friends I feel like it's like an easy watch you can watch from any episode I feel like I watched friends from start to finish like three times that excludes like the random episodes in the middle um, I love Superstore I watched that once and I started watching it again. I haven't like finished it, but I think it's just like a really easy watch comedic. And I love Sex in the City as well. Thought that was like quite entertaining. And the final question, which is why should you subscribe to my channel? So why you should subscribe to my channel? So I do share my life on the channel. So it's like a family type of channel and like a bit of lifestyle beauty mum hacks etc so it's really helpful and honestly the motto of my channel is basically you need to look after you to be able to look after yourself and i've learned that through motherhood through kids and i was really bad at it before kids like i'll put everything else before myself and yes becoming like even busier and busier that is my hack to life and I think you can use that even before you become a parent. If you look after yourself then you can look after others. If you if you're physically well like you're rested, if you're mentally well, you know, if you feel like you're doing all the things that you want to do then or like need to do I should say, then you'll be able to look after this. And like tips how and tips how to make your life easier as a parent and so therefore enjoy parenthood because it is challenging but you don't have to make it that challenging for yourself. I do believe that my channel gives a new perspective on how to do things like parenthood wise. I do also share like my motherhood struggles because it's definitely not straightforward journey learning on the job. That's it guys for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel because I would love to have you on board and click that notification button bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye!